Tarzan in the house. His name is the real Tarzan. My man, the real Tarzan, came down. 24-year-old Michael Holston out on the water at night. With its scenes of charging rhinos, savage pygmies, and the great hunter. Tarzan. He's the king of the junkie. What's up, guys? Today is a feeding day. We're gonna look at a bunch of our animals. We're gonna check them out. Um, basically, like a little update, you know. Um, first, we're gonna do all of our monitors, so you guys will be able to see all of our monitors that we have outside first, and later on, I will finally migrate inside, and I will show you guys our little kids we got inside as well too. But for now. We're gonna go feed. Um, for right now, I have some octopus and shrimp inside of here. Um, nice and fresh. You can actually eat it yourself if you wanted to, but don't, because it's for them, not for you. Stingy, greedy, fat so. I'm just kidding. And I have some elk. Um, and also some eggs. So. I'm usually feeding rats or stuff in the rats, but like I told you guys, I'm always switching up the diets, giving them something different, you know? So uh, we're first gonna start in the first cage over here um, with our black throat and our white throat monitor. We're gonna give these guys some elk and I see if they want some eggs as well too. I know they like eggs. Um, so let's, let's go check these kids out. I'm gonna go set you guys up in there first and then I will follow up with the food. But check out these guys' habitat. Um, it's been growing a lot lately. Um, the, I'll get a little back view of it so you guys can see, you know, back up a little so you guys can see the outside. I guess a good amount of shade. Um, but I got some sand in here. We got one of the kids right now, you know, on that little perch. One down there hanging out. So um, I will start the video off by putting the camera down, or actually in the back over here. And I will start feeding. All right, first one's up. Does anybody want an egg? Do you want an egg, sir? Do you? Don't you huff and puff at me. Okay. Watch this. I get a little fussy when I get too close to them. Hey, you want this egg? You want this egg? Do you want this egg? Do you like eggs? I know you love eggs. Get that egg. Come on. I see you over there. You want this egg? That egg's for you. All right, stay there. Don't attack the egg. You guys are gonna get one egg each. Here you go. So if you guys want those eggs, they're there for you. Um, now, I did hit these guys with some, uh, some rats about uh, actually yesterday so they might be a little full but I know they will never ever pass up a piece of meat so my next option is a piece of elk like some meat oh a little different yeah come on out see those tongue clicking it's getting going a little different than 
egg. Oh, there she goes. You want this egg? Boom. I see you. That elk stood not a single chance. It's thick, so you're gonna have to find the sweet spot, you know? You got your elk. Would you like your piece? I got you a piece too. I don't want you to feel left out. Come on. Alright, so now we're changing speeds a little. Grab our tongs. We're going to grab our cup of octopi. And we're gonna see. Now, I forgot to tell you guys the name of our last group of kids we just saw. Those were Bonnie and Clyde, and this guy is Maximiliano. So Maximiliano will be offered up a octopus tentacle. This is our sulfur boy. Are you hungry, buddy? Ooh, feisty there, aren't you? And usually he smashes his food down as well. Gone, just like that. Got a little bit of tentacle hanging out from the lip right there, but he's fairly chill. Now, what I'm gonna do today as well, guys, um, outside of showing you guys their habitats, nice and green, fresh water, somewhere to hide. Yeah, I'm gonna bring them out and I wanna show you guys the size of them. And also their temperament. I'm gonna see if I can put this camera somewhere without it dropping. All right, so stay right there. Don't you move. All right. I just wanna show you guys the size and the temperament of these animals. Um, I'm pro I probably should do that before I feed them, which is smart, we don't want them to like get uncomfortable or regurgitate their food. But, um, this guy is a fairly decent sized water monitor. Now this guy uh, came from Kevin McCurley. Um, if you guys want to look on his eye, he has like a cataract or something right there, you know, where you can't really see that well. But he still has um, I put some weight on him a little bit since he's came um, to us over here, but he's a really, really good kid, a really good socialized animal. Um, I actually let him hang out with some people when they come over to, uh, you know, explore and want to see our animals. He's one of the kids that, you know, I allow to be held. I don't want him to scratch my face, but I'm just going to hold him up there so you guys can see him, you know. Now, I love, love, love water monitors, so... I want to get you guys up close and personal and also show their personalities, their temperaments, and their sizes. Because it's kind of hard to tell sometimes on video how big these guys actually are or how small they are. So um, I'm going to put him back. Now I put him exactly where I left him. I picked him up and I'm going to also offer him some shrimp now because he was just such a good kid. Hey, hey, I got some shrimp for you. What about this? Hey, hey, you smell this? What's that? What's that? You smell that? There you go. You know, it's kind of hard for him to see a little bit, so kind of like, kind of let it touch his mouth a little. Oh, he smacked it all across the freaking cage. Where'd it go? Oh, I see it over there. I gotta wash off your shrimp. You got dirt all on it. Here, yeah, take that. Take that. And one more shrimp, because you're such a good boy. Yeah, shrimpy for you. And some grass. Here, take this shrimpy. Good boy. Alright, so. 
Now, I'll back up a little so you guys can see. He is in a eight by eight by eight. So he's in a big, huge cube. And he can crawl up these branches, go up there and bask. He can hide again, get some sleep and not feel vulnerable. Put your tail on there, kid. Uh, I don't want to sh shut your tail in the door. All right. So that's him. That is Maximiliano. And uh, it's one of our good kids over here. So we will stop now and we will start proceeding to the next one. Be right back. All right. So now we are back. We just migrated across the field real quick to this other habitat. Um, now this one is a pair of water monitors. Um, one is a guru water monitor, a guru type. Now guru type water monitors have these big giant oscillation on the back, these big huge circles, you know. I don't want to freak her out too much and get so close so fast, so I'm going to go a little slow. But she's basking as you guys can see. Um, she's every bit about five foot. Um, and like I said, the guru oscillation is just thick circles on the back, you know. Sometimes they connect. Um, they usually have a nice fat yellow head. Um, and her boyfriend is actually a Philippine uh, coming out. He's also about four and a half feet. So um, before I actually touch her or grab her or feed her, I want to attempt to hold her so you guys can see, again, the personality and the temperament of each individual lizard. Who is hands on and who is hands off. So, hi, hello, how are you? So if you guys look, I offer up my fist almost in a sense of like, hey, I got no food, even though I'm touching food, it's not food, you know? Smelling me, now slowly, it's okay. You're okay. I'm no threat. So that, that chin scratch right there is a you know a good sign of, of, of trust. She's knowing that uh, she hasn't even moved her posture yet. She still has her arms all the way back. Her tail hasn't like attempted to whip me or anything. I haven't made any fast movements, you know. So. Now I'm gonna slowly, gradually work my way up and like pet her head, you know, rub the middle of her head. Makes you feel a little bit more comfortable. Now there will be some that I will pick up and show you guys the size, but even right here, this is good enough as a, as a part of a relationship build, you know? Um, just slowly touching the feet, you know, stroking the back. Just, you know, building up that trust that I'm not going to strangle her. I'm not going to pick her up uh, aggressively. I'm not going to mangle her to, con to conform to what I want her to do, you know? So, um, let's see if she wants to come up. Just like that, you know, I want to show you guys her size. Fairly big, fairly cool, fairly chill. You know, she, if any moment that she like kind of restricted me from picking her up, I would have stopped because I don't want to ruin our relationship that we just built, you know? So from here, I just wanted to show you guys that little quick pick up, put down. Now I'm going to offer food. Um, now you guys have been seeing me use the tongs, but now I am going to use my hands. I'm going to offer her a piece of octopus and see if she wants it. It's okay. You want this? Hey, look at this. Octopus. Yeah, you smell that? That's good. Look at that. Down the hatch. I got another for you. Do you like that? Yeah? I'm gonna get you a shrimp actually. Shrimp's a little smaller. Um, and I feel that she can also grab it gently close enough to my hand. Now, I don't I don't recommend you guys start trying to hand feed your monitors if you're not used to it, because you can get bit. 
You smell that? You want that? It's a shrimp. Now once she's done swallowing the rest of the octopus and she realizes I have another food source, I'm pretty sure she'll grab this. No hesitation. <coughs> Excuse me. Nice and soft. You see that? So now I'm going to offer her, if she wants, an egg. So we're going to attempt to see our Philippine guy. Um, now I need to give him some food because he may not be too happy without our presence without food all right so he is inside his box I'm going to offer him a piece of elk and check him out you guys see his body in there in the back it's kind of puffing up right now He's a bit, a little bit more pissier than her, but I'm also going inside his personal space and offering him food. But I just wanted to check on him and see how he's doing. You know, he's real pissed off right now. He doesn't want anything to do with me. And I can understand that. You want this, buddy? That's for you. Nope. Do you want this? He didn't want it, but I'm pretty sure you will gladly take that. Do away with that elk. Gone. Just like that. Now, this guy, we'll leave his box like that. Now we'll put some food out here. I know he wants to eat. I know he's hungry. He's just really mad at me right now. come out there we go there he is look that's the, that's for you that's good let's just start I will give you some options there you go I'm sorry I went too fast but now you have options of a little snack so I will watch from a distance I'm sure he will like to come up and eat. And I'd like for you guys to see him. Now, like I said, a lot of animals are going to be hands on, and some are hands off. Look, she's grabbing the egg. Our girl is grubbing today, huh? Get that egg, sister. Don't give up. It's a good protein in there. A little bit of calcium under that shell. Come on, don't quit. Everybody's watching. Jesus, whatever. So, I will uh, actually get out of this habitat and let this guy make his way out to eat if he, if he desires to. I think he's gonna come up. I see, I, I see him moving. Here he comes. Yep, there he goes. hors d'oeuvre, sir, a buffet. Oh, come on, eat that. I know you want it. He's sick of me right now because I disturbed him inside his habitat. Now, guys, seriously, these things are very, very, very intelligent. So, you know, me and this guy's relationship is gonna be a little tougher to build because of what you, even you just saw, you know, me going in there, opening his box, you know, and disturbing him while he's asleep. He don't, they don't like that. 
guys, if you would as well, you know, if you were asleep in your bed and I came in there and woke you up, you wouldn't like that. That's how I think about these animals, you know? And I understand their attitude. Come on, man, eat that. So I can go on to the next one. So if you guys also notice I have a habitat for him and a section for her. Uh, and I do share one big water bowl. In the morning, you'll see both of them out there, selling both of themselves, um, sharing space. All right, so now we are leaving this pair, our guru and our coming eye pair, and we are going to go to the danger restricted area section. Now, this is my most dangerous animal I have here on the property. Um, some guys keep venomous snakes, some guys keep lions and tigers and bears on oh my. Uh, this guy is a full-on dragon, so uh, a bite from this guy is an automatic hospital visit and also possible uh, permanent injury to your nerves and your tendons because these boys are lethal when it comes to biting. Now, they won't kill you from a bite, but definitely will send you to the hospital and have a bit hospital bill you do not want. Okay, so now that I'm in here, I will show you guys his habitat and what I'm offering him to eat. Do you, my good sir, want this elk, do you? Very, 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 very curious animal. Come on, come on. Come on, come get it. Come on. Come on. Look at that. Look at that. Come on. 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 You can do it. Come on. You got it. Come on. I'm going to show you guys these claws, man. Come on. It's here. It's still here. Come on. Come on, come on kid, you got it. Easy work, we're just working, come on. It's all right, we're just working, come on. I want everybody to see how big you are. He's seven foot long. He is our thickest monitor we have here. I mean, come on, you got this. Come on kid, come on. I got more for you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, now come on, come on, come on. Let you guys really see this guy, man. That's for you, good boy. And it's gone. I mean, thick, thick, thick animal, guys. I would literally put my hand on him, but it's like, no. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Just for you guys, I'm gonna try. Very, very, very dangerous, very, very, uh, not a good idea, but like, wow. Okay, let's go, 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 Come on, you can stand up. You want to stand up for it? Come on, I know you can. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's mad now. Talk about a dragon. Now, this guy also came from Kevin McCurley. He came with uh, Maximiliano. Um, and this guy's name is Draco. I changed his name. He is a dangerous lizard. Uh, I mean, look at the claws on this guy, you know? Nothing to play with. I'm gonna give him one more piece of elk. And uh, I'm sure he will be very, very happy with me. But I mean, look at this animal, guys. Missing piece of his tail, still every bit of seven foot. You know? Hey, there you go, that's for you. That's for you, come on, I know you want that. Good boy.
I mean, look at this animal, guys. Look at him. Look at him. Just get a, just get a glimpse of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -mm. No, sir. Very cautious in here. Very, very, very cautious in here. Um, again, this guy will light you up like a Christmas tree. Um, tell you guys a quick story. I was at a reptile convention probably like a decade ago. And the lady was holding a four foot one of these and she handed it off to a guy and he was holding it and it started like freaking out a little and uh, the, the lizard grabbed him in like his bicep and it, and his whole arm went like this just like shriveled up quick i think whatever he bit just ripped and severed whatever it was that just oh it was disgusting his shirt he had a long sleeve shirt on like mine and it just looks like it wasn't even red it was just like like plum purple that's how thick the blood was coming out i don't know if he hit a vein or what but it was bad super bad but again look at this freaking beast guys nothing short of a dinosaur nothing short of small again he has a little small piece of his tail missing but if he didn't this thing would be every bit of nine foot ten foot almost you know yeah and i believe about two 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 feet of his tail is missing so uh, he's easily again like six and a half seven foot without it and you guys can see how thick and chunky he is he doesn't miss a meal you guys know i like to feed the kids a lot um, for him being such a good boy and coming out and being active for us i have one more you want another do you want another come on you gonna come up for it you gonna come up come on come on you got this what's up just go up here now these guys claws are just no joke guys, okay? Okay, 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 all right, I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Again guys, just in awe of these animals. I'm so blessed to be able to share space with such dinosaur-like creatures. I mean, look at this kid, man. You can't beat that, dude. You cannot beat that. Just wow. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, kid, I'm sorry. to climb up get away from me I'm gonna get out because I don't want to piss him off <laughs> yeah just big boy man big boy Sorry, my camera died, so I switched to my iPhone. So um, now we are across the yard. We just left our big guy over there that's a danger. And then now we are here in our double decker, I call it. It's like a two story walk in habitat. Um, I'm still building it, so forgive me for the basic, bare minimum. But uh, the guy got his water bowl, somewhere to hide, somewhere to perch, and he can't escape. It's the most important. Uh, with that, it's time to feed. Um, there is a nice size spider web here, so I'm gonna get him out the way. Um, and then we're gonna move our food over. I'm gonna offer him some octopi first. Octopi. And um, hopefully this guy will come out and hang out with us. Now, like I said, there's some, you really don't wanna take them out of their habitat because they're just, they feel safe, they feel comfortable and you don't want to develop a relationship with them of you know getting them out of somewhere they feel the best at so I'm gonna offer him some food but this guy has a whole different temperament than everybody else he's really really chill so I'm gonna go against what I'm telling y'all because I know my lizard it's also very key to know your animals you know if you don't know your animal then you shouldn't do certain things because 
you don't want to ruin that relationship like i said but now you guys can see it i'm gonna lift this up now this is our philippine water monitor cross with the samarinsis um, two different locales crossed you know in between to have one lizard like this now i'm gonna put that like that hopefully you guys can see now i'm gonna offer him some food clean my tongs first it's all nasty you want this buddy Nice and gentle. Such a gentleman. Oh, he dropped it. Sure, I'll pick it up though. Now, take this off of here so you guys can get a better, up close look at him. I mean, look at this guy, man. Super sexy lizard. Look at the back on him. You know, like, wow. Just wow. Now, you guys gonna watch him eat. He's like, what are you looking at? That's not food, I'm sorry. So, hold up. All right, I need a little better. I mean, look at this animal, guys, you know? Like, what a specimen. Now, he wants to eat that octopus. I'm gonna help him. You want this, buddy? He's like, Dad, I don't want this. Okay, he probably not feel any octopus. So, I'm gonna make a couple steps back. I'm gonna move this out the way. Put this over here. And I'm gonna see if he wants some elk. A little different. You want this? But look at this. It's meat. It's not seafood. He's like, I don't even want that one, Dad. He's like, no, I don't want it. You sure? You want to smell it? You sure? Come on, eat that. It's good. It's got a lot of protein. He's like, Dad, I don't want your stinking protein, okay? All right, kid. Well, since he doesn't want to eat, um, I will prop this up right here. Hopefully you guys can see me and him hang out real quick. Sorry for my crazy camera skills. I'm trying to mount this on a branch. Okay, all right. So, you guys are there. I'm here. Come here, buddy. Ugh. Look at this kid. Look at this animal, man. Just a beast. Good kid. Doesn't want to bite. Doesn't want to flight, you know, run away. Now, I just got to support him. And he'll feel comfortable. You know? Look at that. An absolute dinosaur. Ooh. Look at this guy. Every bit about six foot. Thick mamma jamma. Very happy. Very healthy. Now again, this is your coming eye. Samarinsis cross. Not the same as it's a pure coming eye. Um, a Samarinsis is another species of water monitor subspecies from a small island. Um, now if you guys look on the back, it has that white. Now, a lot of people have monitors that have old burn spots. This is not an old burn spot. This is genetic. If you look in between those yellows on top of his head, you'll be able to see the white specking as well up to the skull. Even on top of his skull, he has the same thing. Um, now, he's in the middle of a shed, so he's probably got some little brown patches. 
but uh, this guy is just golden yellow. He's puppy dog tame. He's sweet as can be. Um, I fed him a couple days ago, so he's probably still a little full from there. But I mean, just look at this kid go, man. It's a tame lizard, you know? There's nothing better than having an actual freaking dragon, you know? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, come on, you wanna hang out up here? Put him up on your shoulder. Look at that. Straight up beast, yo. Straight up beast. Like, doesn't get any better than that. Does it? You can't find a better looking lizard. Look at him. Beast, guys. Freaking beast. Now, temperament, habitat, refuse food, but is not shy to hang out with us. So, I'm gonna set him down. Go ahead, you can get out, kid. And that's why I wore a long sleeve today and to not get all dirty. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that little moment we just had together, just as much as I did. Give you guys a good gist of his size. I'm a size 11 shoe. So, boom. My hand next to his head, fairly decent size, you know, thick kid. And I, like I talk about that white specking, you know, it's even up here up there you see that white it, like i said this is not these are not burn marks this is all genetic going down and through here full tail full toes i'm gonna put his hide back so he's not like all freaked out that i moved this stuff so um, i'll put you guys over here real quick in the meantime, in between time, with me taking care of his house. <sighs> Sorry, <laughs> it's not the easiest. Uh, Sometimes when you, you're trying to make sure tripods on your way, your way in and out. All right, hopefully that stays like that. No, I want to cover the camera. I'll get my shit together eventually to filming, guys. Just like that, we're in and we're out. I don't know what this is, but no. Okay. Now guys, we are just about done with outside. We got one more kid to check out before we make our way inside. Um, so that is Sammy, our coming eye, Samarentis Cross. If you guys don't know what a Samarentis monitor, there's like some Bawa water monitors. There's new Chalice water monitors. There's a uh, coming eye water monitors. There's just a plethora of water monitors, sulfurs. I'm talking Bivatis or Bivatatis, however you say it. Um, there's gurus, there's normal types, there's black dragons, there's just, the list goes on. Um, I am a complete water monitor geek. So um, anybody out there that wants to talk or text or even in the comments below, talk water monitors or what you have at home, I would love to geek out with you guys. And uh, yeah, man. So I'm gonna lock this kid up and then we're gonna go inside. All right, so our next kid 
he is not up right now but you guys are no stranger to this habitat if you're not a stranger to our youtube channel oh, i had this guy for about two years um, i changed some stuff up inside of his habitat but you guys i'm gonna back up so i can show you guys his full habitat um, he's got somewhere up there to go hide and perch and lay out um, he can climb up he can bask all around these platforms over here i had a humongous water bowl in here that's why i had that big ramp that goes in there but i changed the water bowl um, but the cool thing, the key thing about this, of keeping monitors outside is, uh, boom, all this inside of here is, underneath it is concrete. So I concreted the bottom, I dug it out, I concreted the bottom, then I put a bunch of dirt, whole bunch of dirt, and then I concreted it again. And then I made like a little small tube or tunnel, but boom, here we go. This guy likes to dig inside down here and he has a little burrow he can go inside and stay warm down there and he'll come back out he'll bask he cannot get out all this is fully concreted in so there is a thick thick layer of dirt for him to go down there and do that but that's just natural to them you know that's what they like to do now it's very hard to keep these type of animals out in captivity if you don't supply them what what they need or you know what they need these guys love to dig love 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 to dig they do raid crocodiles nests in the Nile River um, they eat all types of animals that are smaller than them. And um, they are not scared of shit. They are gangsters. So it's cool to be able to have some enrichment for them. I'll bring you guys up close to see his little hole he dug. I'm not sure if you guys can see in there. But, uh, yeah. It's, 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 it's fairly deep again but the, the most important thing is he cannot get out so he is not available for us to feed or interact with him so he's all sleeping and uh yeah we're gonna go now inside to see all the kids inside the house be right back all right so now we are heading back to inside for animal house now, you guys are no strangers to our buddy over here. Hey, look who it is. Good afternoon, pal. Are you hungry? I got some food for you. Do you want some food? This is our other adult male crocodile monitor. A completely different animal than the last one you guys just saw outside in the danger restricted area habitat. But um, he is nothing like him even though they are the same. Very, very, very intelligent, very curious. He wants to come and check out the camera, check us out. But little does he know I have food for him. So um, first I'm gonna show you guys his temperament and then we shall proceed to feeding him. So, hey, what's up, buddy? He's like, what is that? Is that a camera? Is that a cell phone? I, you guys remember I could not get this close to the other one because he would have just snapped my fingers up. No, no, this guy is a whole different animal. Like I said, he is very, very cute, very tame, very socialized. It's okay. It's all right. He's a good boy. Yes, he is. See the difference in between the animals. Now, this guy also is a massive animal. Now, look, size 11 shoe next to him. He is big all the way back there. Eight foot, nine inches. So, that's where he lives. He's got all of this. Let me see if I can get a good back pedal to get a full glimpse of his whole habitat. I, like I said, I have to do a whole lot more, but for now, this is what it is. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can prop this up. So now I'm gonna go grab him um, off the floor and we're gonna show you guys how big he is, okay? What's up, buddy? Straight up beast. Now this guy is a little more uh, trustworthy than our last crocodile monitor, so we'll be able to show you guys the full size of this guy. I mean, he is big, big, okay. Now these claws are no joke, but I will show you guys 
him hanging out with us. Just to give you guys a good idea of his temperament and his size. Let me look. Now, I'm not like forcing him to do anything. I just picked him up right off the ground. Um, it didn't take me like strangling him or nothing like that. So you guys can see how big he is now. I'm just guarding my head, basically my eyeballs. I don't want to get my eyeballs ripped out, but. Boom, look at this guy. Look at him. Ah. Now he's climbing down to the ground now. Just like that. Now, I'll show you guys the temperament. You could not do that with the other one because he would just straight up bite you upon picking him up. So I'm gonna move down now. Now I could easily keep trying to pick him up and show you guys different angles, but it's not necessary. You guys see him, you guys saw me have him right by my head, you know, all that fun stuff. So now I'm going to feed him, which is what the reward of hanging out is. And you guys will get up close in front seats of us feeding. So check this out. Let's put that right there. Uh, maybe down a little. Okay. Hey buddy. Got some food for you. You want this? Ooh, yeah, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Like that's gone. You want another one? Good boy. Really good boy. I'm so proud of you. Okay, I have another one. You want another one? Come on. Come on. Come on. Good boy. You guys can see exactly how big he is. I'm trying to like really back it up, back him up. So you guys can see the length he has on him. Very, very smart animals, guys. I want you guys to keep putting that in your brain. Very, very intelligent animals. They're not cold-blooded killers. They're not what the media says they are. They are highly intelligent creatures. All right, you ready for more? Look, I got another one. Ooh, you like that, don't you? Come on, come on.
pretty cool, huh? All right, so we saw temperament, we saw the habitat, he ate. So we're gonna leave him be. We thank him for hanging out with us and showing him how cool a species can be. And uh, yeah, man, we're gonna go inside. We have more to go. All right, so I'm going to grab the octopus and the shrimp. And we shall proceed to see our other kid. I have a lot of monitor kids. Um, we're not talking about iguana kids. <laughs> we're not talking about the other dragons we have. We're just talking about the monitor kids. All right. Let alone the snake kids. We have a lot of snake kids too. Um, I have just as many snakes as I have monitors. I just have, I have just as many iguanas as I have snakes and monitors. All right. So. We are now here, so inside, we're making our way to our big, huge enclosure over here as well, an indoor one. Now this one is main, made to be an indoor and outdoor structure, but I haven't fully got the outdoor structure part down yet, uh, even though it is being utilized. Uh, check this kit out. This is your Whitehead New Chalice Monitor different species of Uranus. Not like your, uh, hey, look what I got. Want some meat? Come on. Yeah, come on. Come up here in the light so they can see your beautiful face. Come on. I didn't fill the water well up today, so we will get to that as well in this little segment. But I wanna show you guys this kid, man. He is a beast, man. I mean, look at the, look at this. Look at the face on him, okay? Just not the same as, you, as you've been seeing out there. You don't want that? I know you want that. Come on, don't you tell me you don't. Oh, don't you shake your head. Come on, don't you be like that. Hey, hey, be nice. You don't want the elk? Oh, you are a picky brat today. Okay, so we're gonna actually flip the camera around. And I want to show you guys this kid because he is very, very special. Very special to me. Um, there we go, trying our best to get this thing clipped on or something. All right, so check this kid out. First, we're going to move the water bowl. I'm going to show you him. Come, buddy. Come here. Completely different, completely different. This is your blackhead Brandis New Chalice monitor. Totally different, totally different than everybody else. Now, yeah, this is a water monitor species. He has some sharp, sharp claws. So forgive me if I'm screaming my lungs out of pain, but he is also very, very chill as well too. Now, I'm gonna let him slide on the branch. Ah, don't you, ah, not my eyeballs. I don't care about everything else, just on my eyeballs. Okay, go down, go ahead, go down. It's okay, you're okay. Look at him. Look at him. Now, when I told you guys I had the indoor outdoor thing, you know. The idea is to have him go outside, you know, but he just has the indoor portion done right now. Um, you guys can see his habitat. I got to fill the water bowl up. I cleaned it out earlier, but uh, he got his nice little heat source for basking and uh, he can come inside of here and uh, get some rest down there. I have a heating pad down there as well. I just got to plug it in. But I mean, look at this kid, man. Straight up dinosaur. Very happy, very healthy. Just being a lizard. Being a monitor lizard, being a puppy dog of a, mon of a monitor lizard, which is the difference between, you know, socialization, health, care, their food and nutrition and their background. Now, this guy is just, sorry, it's about focus. 
but I mean, like, you can't tell me that it is not a badass animal, guys. I mean, look at the white head. Look at the head. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you see the white on the head? He's going through a shed right now, but um, just the, the specks on his legs, the yellow specks. I want to get a close up of his legs. I'm gonna flip the camera around. I mean, like I said, the close up of his legs. Look at the yellow. You know, the yellow in between the feet are just so cool, man. Nowhere else on his lizard does he have yellow besides a little specking on top. You know, a little bit of shed. Got to come off, but I mean, jet black animal. Yellow specks on the tail. His head has like, he has like a rough neck monitor neck, you know? I mean, sick beast. Hope you guys are enjoying this segment of straight up monitor lizard madness. Um, I never really get to go in depth and detail and show my full collection because I'm always busy. I'm always hanging out with the kids or doing some work, whether it's like emails or so on and so forth. But actually, before I leave him, I am going to offer him some squid. I mean, some octopus and uh, some elk. I mean, some some uh, some shrimps. What about this? You like this instead? It's a little different. No, you don't want, you don't want this either? You want a rat? There you go, get that. Come on, man. You're gonna be this picky? No way, no way. You know you want that. You know you want that. Come on. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> you and Sammy are picky. I tell you, boy. Dad gets you guys octopus tentacles and shrimps and elks and stuffed rats and you guys just got all Beverly Hills bougie on your boy. It's all right though. You leave that there because I'm pretty sure you're going to want that later. Hopefully you do now, but knowing your picky ass ain't going to happen. But in the meantime, in between time, if you shall, sir, for you, for you, okay? Enjoy. All right, guys, so before we head all the way up to the front inside the main house to finish off the monitor vlog, um, I want to show you guys a lizard that's not a monitor, but it's definitely dragon status. And um, I know you guys would really enjoy it, even though it's not a monitor. Um, so I'm going to see how I can prop this up somewhere. That ain't going to be uh, the best. I can tell you that now, but... Um, the lizard is very, very, very special. Special lizard. Um, before I start, I'm inside their habitat. They have a variety of uh, fruits and veggies also on the floor down there. Um, one of them is up there. Not sure if you guys can see, there he goes. Boom. Um, one is also uh, getting some water. Let's see if I can put that over there. Sick animals, huh? All right, now there is one. Maybe this spot can be good for you guys to see if I can pick him up. There's one of them that's fairly chill. I've been hanging out with him. Um, okay, we're good.
This is your Hydrosaurus Weberi. Hydrosaurus celebensis. Excel fin dragon. I mean, holy crap, guys. Look at this animal. Look at the eyes on that animal. Just straight up dinosaur, okay? Okay? Like, wow. Freaking wow. Like, Hopefully the video does it some justice, but like, uh, trying to get the focus on them, you know? Like, look, full tail, just a specimen, okay? Now these guys come from the Philippines. They mainly live by um, waterfalls. They love to eat small insects. They will eat fruits and veggies as well, but uh, mainly these guys are gonna be hanging out. Jump right in the water. Wow. Now, again, I didn't want to manhandle them, but I wanted to give you guys a good up close look at that freaking beast, man. And, uh, yo, so sick. So, so sick. Look at this guy up there just chilling out, getting some sun. You know, if he feels threatened, he bloop, plops right in the water. Now, this is just a temporary enclosure, as you guys know. I'm always moving and grooving stuff, upgrading stuff bringing them in, putting them back outside. So it's always up and down here and there. Don't ever think, you know, I'm pretty sure they're happy in there, but I'm not happy with them in there. I want to get them somewhere bigger, bigger water space, you know, more branches to climb and uh, more sections to get away from me, you know? So yeah, we're going to now go inside. I'll see you guys in there. Be right back. A lot to be thankful for. Ugh. So, we got the kids out. You can see everybody. We're walking over to the back so we can hang out and eat as a group. It's been raining these past couple days, so everybody's been inside, but now we're out. Now we're gonna have some fun together. Chill out, socialize. Hey, leave my tortoise alone. Hey, leave him alone. Thank you. I got tortoises roaming now, so they wanna be all curious. Curious George, my tortoises. All right. they're, they're learning. They're usually in a, a pen, and they can still enter in the pen, but. You know, they're, they're, they're roaming. Get over here. Put their food down, a little snack. And I see all the kids. They're getting a little snack right there. Nigel is always eating. Uh, a lot. Back it up. So you got some elk in there, some regular dog food, some treats. Back it up. Nigel's always, Nigel is the only one that eats his food completely until he just can't eat anymore. Everybody else nitpicks at it. Hey. Anyone want to play catch? Anyone want to play catch? Hey, anyone want to play catch? Yeah, anyone want up? Anyone want to play catch? Go okay. get Back up. As you guys know, Coco does not like to play fetch. She likes to just come over and get loves and hugs. Good job, Shugs. Thanks for participating, pal. Everybody else wants to go pee everywhere and sniff everybody's butts. 
Pumba girls. She's peeing. Tuna's eating. Twinks, sit. Up, down. How big Twink is getting, man? She is getting huge, dude. Beautiful kid. Shooks. Shooks. Bring the ball back, man. I didn't say pee on it. I said bring the ball back. All right. Bring the ball back, punk. All you guys want to do is pee on everything. Well, I thought you guys all pee and do all your stuff first before I think about playing with you because you guys are hurting my feelings by not playing with me. Hi, Puma girls. Hi, my baby. Hello. Hi, tuna fishes. Hello, thin net. Let's see if anybody wants to go swimming. Come on, kids. Wants to go swimming. Come on. Go get it. Go get it. Yay! We got a jumper. Twinkie's jumping now. Pumba, you jumping or no? Or no? Twinkie's like, yo, I got it first. Twinkie's like, yo, I jumped in, Dad. <laughs> Come on, Pumba. Water's warm. She's like, nope. Wrong way, pal. You can't go up this way. Oh, I guess you can. You can tank. That was impressive, actually. Wow. I mean, you guys are dogs. You're not like little freaking guinea pigs trying to scale a mountainside. Well, you guys definitely scared the turtles away today. You guys want another one? Ready? Go get it! Go ahead, Twinks! Jump, Twinks! Enough! Don't be fighting in the water. Hey, that wasn't nice, Twinkie. You okay, Pumba? You okay? It's shallow over there. <laughs> That's why you can move fast because you can touch the ground. Good girl, Pumba girls. Good girl, Mama. Daddy's so proud. Coming up. It's like a, the Lion King scene. Scar, help me, brother. Come on, Twinks. Hey, next time you're drawing your sister, I'm gonna jump in and power bomb your ass right in the deep end. Come on. I just growing up to be a nice and handsome boy with a silky coat, some thick old back legs. Woohoo! <laughs> you got scared. Timon, still Timon. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Back up. Back it up. Back it up. Those arms, man. Thick ass kid. Good looking dog. Good looking dog, man. You too? You're so good looking. Why are you so cute, huh? Why are you so cute, cutie? Just like your mother. Hi. Hi, my princess. Hello, my princess. Get out of there. Stop sniffing her butt. Hey, get out of her butt. Tuna fish, tuna, tuna, get over here. Thank you, girl. Keep eyeing everybody. You can sniff all you want, just don't disappear off into the wilderness. Hey, don't eat my ball. Let's start working out. It's not a chew toy. 
guys we have a lot to be thankful for every single day not just on uh one day in november you know i'm thankful for all my dogs uh, that's not all of them but you get the point i'm just so happy and so thankful i'm able to live life with them it's been uh four four years of being shuggy and then uh two and a half years of being arrested as kids and uh it's been a blast man like i said i love all my dogs i'm thankful for all my dogs every single day thankful for all my animals i'm able to share my life with and share life with and share food with and just cuddle with talk to you know these animals are my safe haven hey get over here now hey get over here come on come on boomba i'm talking to you good girl thank you coconut come on boomba boomba thank you thank you missus that's my good girl so yeah man again i'm super looking nigel <laughs> you're so cute everybody's here everybody say what's up which dog is your favorite? Comment down below which one's your favorite. I know some are uh, have the favorites of this one right here, Coconut. Um, some are favorites of Twinkie. Um, Coconut is our laziest girl. She's so thick. She's getting so big. It's just so funny seeing these kids grow up into their adult selves. I love it. Hi, Pumbaa girls. Hi, Mama. Twinkie's like, Daddy, you're calling Pumbaa and I'm right here in front of you? <laughs> I love you so I love you my sugar bear my sugar bear Pumba's here thank you Pumba for coming and listening hey hey let me bite my hat stepping in the food and stuff loca coconuts like dad how dare you give all these women love and not me she's turned to be a, such a beautiful dog look at that dog oh gorgeous gorgeous I'm so lucky man Timon, you haven't given me a lick of love today. Not even a lick. Who's this? Who is this? I should have known. I should have known. Sit. Good girl. Go play. Go. Go play. Get out of here. Go have fun. Timon. Come here, boy. Timon. Come on, boy. Come on, Timons. Hi, tuna fishes. Hi. Is tuna your favorite, guys? I know a lot of you guys love tuna. Tuna is a ball of energy. He's my little thin man. Hey, hey, easy. Go, get out of here. Just your paw stay. Get out of here. Timon. Hey, Timon, get over here. He's ignoring me today. I am heavily upset. Highly hurt. Back up. She wants to play tug of war with her dad. He just ain't having it. Good job, Twinks. Good job, Twinks. Good job, Twinks. Good job, Twinkie Bears. Good job, kiddos. Who's gonna win? Good boy, Shuggy. Way to be a good daddy. So proud of you. I love when they're easy with their daddy. Makes me happy. Simone has completely ignored me today. I'm gonna go cry. Be back. <laughs> Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? I just love the patience he has with them. Who's gonna win? Hey, Shuggy, Shugs, good job, sir. Thank you for being an exceptional parent. <laughs> dad, give me love, please. Give me love, dad. 
Give me love, Daddy. Play with me, Dad. Okay, so all the kids get a humongous, I mean, the bowl is probably about this big, but it's actually like three times as high and they get it filled with water, you know, uh, and also get a full entire bag of food each. So if you guys are wondering, you know, their food regimens and water regimens, if people are wondering about their coats or anything like that, they just literally have an entire, I don't know how many gallons of water it is, I'll tell you guys later. But um, they just have unlimited water, unlimited food to eat, and uh, and they get playtime, man. So here is Pumbaa girl. Hi, Mama. Hi. Hello. Hi, my princess. Hi, my princessa. You enjoying playtime with your si your siblings? Come on, come on, kiddos. Let's go. Timon, you haven't given me any love today. Come here. What's up, man? What's up, pal? You forgot about me? Did you forget about your papa bears? You know I love you, too. You can be a menace to your food bowl, but hey, sir, you. Be nice. Hi. He came, he came back. <laughs> he came back. Hi, my good boy. I know. Daddy missed you. Daddy loves you. Hey, don't be jealous, okay? Timon needs love, too. You got Timon and Pumbaa. <laughs> Twins. See your twin brother? See your twin brother? You see your twin brothers? See your twin brothers? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, kiddo? Well, just some early morning play time with the kids. A little bit of fun. Hey, come here, you two. Hi, Nigel. Look at Nigel's eyes, man. His eyes are crazy looking. Hi, my good boy. Beautiful day. They are on to something over here. I don't know what it is. What is it? What is it? You see something? What is it? What is it? Hey, right, easy. Possum. You're not gonna get the possum. You guys look inside there. It is a possum. You guys see him? <laughs> see his little head right there? That's where they're going crazy. You gonna go up there? Easy. Easy. Easy, I said. You can't get up there. He's protected. Someone smelt him and it was on after that. Now for you guys that are thinking that these dogs are just little mush toys, they are. Once they're locked on, they're locked on. And of course, they cannot get him up there. He's inside this little hollow tree so it's impossible but they could they, they would climb this fence through the barbed wire easily just to get to this just to get to this uh this possum you going up twinks come on twinks go get him come on up come on you go up you gonna go up here up come on up up come on
Easy. Good girl, Pumba. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Hey, hey, easy. Good girl. <laughs> you going up? You going up? You going up, come on, come on. Up, this way, up, this way, come on, up. Up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. Too late. You ain't get you ain't getting them out of there. That's for sure. Go get it. Twinkies winning. Good job, Twinks. Twinkie won. Cheater. Good job, Pumba. Good job, Timon. Good boy, Timon's. That's my good boy. Good boy, Timon's. You like the water? Good boy. It's his first time going in the water like this. I'm so proud of him. It's really shallow over here, so it's impossible for them to drown. They can actually stand up. She's standing up right now. She just doesn't know it. Um, it's really, really deep over here, like 22 feet deep, but over here is super shallow. Good job, coconuts. Good job, coconuts. They all learn from each other. You guys know, these guys are like, fuck that. I'm not going in there, dad. But um, yeah, man. If you guys ever see like little nicks and scratches on them, it's because of this coral sharp, but they don't really care. They heal up. I give them their meds and stuff to figure it out, their immune system. You know, good job, Timon. Wow, good boy. Good boy, Timon. Daddy's proud of you. Good boy. Hey, Tuna, when are you going to go in the water? Your name is Tuna Fisher. You don't even swim. Good job, sister. Good job, sister. You did a good job, sister. I'm so proud of you, sister. That's like, I got the toy. I won. I'm going to eat it. Pumba. Good job, Pumba girls. Nigel, when are you going to hop in there? Light skin. Whatever. All right, guys. We're out. Okay, one last thing before we close the video out. I want to show you guys what I'm most thankful for here at the place of Tarzana. Um, I redid the snake room. Um, unfortunately, some of the snakes knocked down some of the moss and stuff like that, some shed, it's normal. But I wanna show you some of the kids I brought from outside to inside because yes, it's getting a little cold out there. So um, I gotta bring some kids in and monitor them um, and make sure they're not freezing to death outside. You know, some animals can handle the 50 degree drops in temperature. Um, not 50 degrees total dropping, but you guys don't understand what I'm saying. Um, but before I even get to going, um, I want to show you guys a couple of the snakes we have inside of here. So first, look at these. I got a pair of brittle carpet pythons um, out of Australia. Thick. This is the biggest girl I've ever seen in my life. Um, she's a big one. Um, I'm going to get her out so you guys can see her. She is fairly chill as far as her temperament goes. But um, let's, uh, let's give it a go. All right. First things first, we're gonna set this up so we can get her out. You guys can see the process. All right, so over there. Shout out to my boy Socrates for coming over and helping me get all my cages up to, up to date. So here's a little male. Thankful for this guy. Brettle, carpet python, bread live, brettle. Uh, when I was out in Australia a few years back, I met the uh, the family that actually 
discovered these snakes and named them um, the Brettle family. Um, shout out to Robbie Brettle out there, um, the Barefoot Bushman. Shout out to my boy Ewan for introducing me to the family. Um, but yeah, this is a, a young male Brettle copper python. And then we'll put him away. I mean, I love how this big, huge, thick female is just perched up like a green tree python. It's just insane. It's like, honestly, I don't even want to take her off her perch because she looks so good right there, so comfortable. But look at this girl. Like, oh my God, look at the nose, you know? I hope you guys are catching that. Sometimes the camera does no justice, but I got this thing on cinematic mode, so hopefully you guys can see this beautiful beast, man. Um, I'm gonna get her out, actually, because I wanna show you guys how big she is. I know for a fact the perch isn't doing her any justice right now, so I gotta give her justice myself. You guys are watching. It's okay. But I mean, guys, look at this girl. Thick, humongous. Okay, like I never seen one this big. Huge, guys, huge, huge, okay? Like, all right, thickness. Look how thick, I can't even wrap my full hand around her. Thick, I got some pretty beefy hands, okay? But this snake, man, is just absolutely gorgeous. Wow, right? Your brittle carpet python. Now, Yes, she is humongous for this little enclosure. And like I said, you guys know I have big habitats outside, um, but it's just, it's winter time. So I actually ordered some new habitats. They're all gonna be about like eight to 10 feet. Same exact style as this, um, just a little more updated. So the kids are all here. I brought them from outside to inside. And I'm pretty sure you guys have, I have a few animals you guys don't even know because I don't show them a lot. Just because I don't show them, doesn't mean I don't love them or have them, you know? That's there. All right. I'm gonna lock that back up. So yeah, you guys get a, a good gist. Now, this kid just shed a full shed. Thick shed, you know, I love to see the sheds. Um, I like to leave them in there for a day or so, so I can just, you know, admire them when they're nice and silky but i mean full shit look at those thick underbelly scales just insane all right i guess i do collect my sheds if you guys see keepers out there you guys know um they collect sheds sometimes we may eventually throw them away but for now we keep them now this guy is also i like to show you guys the biggest Ooh! The biggest of the biggest. I like, to, I like to keep these guys like nice and thick and fat. This guy may bite. Yep, he's trying to bite. It's okay. Oh, it's, uh, it's the norm. It's the norm. They're so slick and elusive. This is the biggest yellowtail creepo I have ever seen as well. Um, every bit about seven foot. Thick kid. Fairly chill once out the habitat, but this species is a cousin of the indigo snake. Um, they, they eat other snakes. Um, you're gonna see your black tail creepos, your yellow tail, thick tails, thick, bright yellow tails. Um, these guys come from South America. You can find them in Suriname, um, Guyana, other parts down there, but. I mean, look, man, this snake is beautiful, guys. I mean, I can't probably show you the full entire length of it, but you guys get the point that it is a massive yellowtail creepo. I'm trying to get them to chill out a little bit. But these are some of my favorite snakes in the world, as far as colubrids go. I mean, just beautiful specimen, man. I'm gonna get him back up in there so we can chill out. But yeah, 
I mean, you guys get it. Like, holy crap, okay? Holy crap. Good tail go. I'm a big bad snake. I'm gonna bite you. I love how it wiggles like that. It's the cutest. Take a Gucci Gucci Goo. So yeah, now he wants to go back and bite at me. Well, as long as you don't bite me in the face, I really don't care. Oh, I'll leave that in there so I don't lose it. Okay, who's next you guys? Okay, another special for you guys. Um, I'm gonna actually move this camera to here. So you guys can see what we got going over here on the side. Um, also, more snakes you guys didn't know I had. Um, we're not gonna spend too much time in here. I'm just gonna go through um, just a few real quick. Now, here we have our Maleo Python, Timorensis. Timor Python, hope I said that right. Um, this guy, let's see if he wants to come out without biting me. No, no, you want to bite. Uh, okay, I see him. Just gonna give him a little head rub. I'm not feeding you. I'm no threat. Okay. That's gonna be a bit squiggly sometimes. Squirmy. Once they're out, but once they're out, they're pretty cool. But I mean, look at this snake, guys. Just don't bite me in the face, kid. All right, look at this snake. Timor Python, just absolutely beautiful. I got uh, two males. Um, this guy came from the Dallas Zoo, um, Dallas Zoo stock, and it is a beautiful snake. I mean, I hope this thing is like not trying to, um, let me change the setting. Okay, yeah, you guys see better. This is your t more Python, also about a good seven foot, six to seven foot. She's holding on to that snake hook <laughs> with her tail. For dear life, but you know, boom, Timor Python. So we'll put her back. Oh, sorry, him back. You go back in there, buddy. Come on. There he goes. Back off. This is his little temporary home. This is just to make sure everybody is fed well, has water, and um, getting correctly. They're getting the right temperatures instead of being frozen outside. It's like my little quarantine room, just to make sure everybody's safe and sound. I do have like two more snakes outside, but their their setups are more so built to last through the cold. Um, I also have another team one right here. He is sulky. Um, he actually looks a little better than that one. He's just a little on the thinner side. And when I say thinner, I don't mean like skinny. Um, iridescence on these animals are just insane. Now these snakes are cousins to Retix and uh, this one has a little bit more yellow on him. Like I said, he's not, when I say thin, he's not like thin as in skinny. He's just a little thinner than the one you guys saw in the previous segment just now. But I mean, insane snake. Also a male. If anybody out there has a female they want to uh, let go, let me know. I love to put two two pairs together for sure. Um, very thankful for my snakes, man. I really, really love snakes. You guys know I have uh, snake tattoos. I've had snakes my whole life. Snake is what has got me into loving different animals other than dogs. So um, it's a blessing to be able to share my love with you guys. One of my snakes, um, I do have Another one down here that I am so stoked to show you guys about. Um, you guys don't know I have this. Um, I don't, like I said, I have stuff that I don't show much to you guys, but 
eventually we'll get there. Um, this one is, I don't really like to pick favorites, but this one's probably like, it's hard to pick a favorite over here, you know? Now, I wanna show you guys um, this one, cause I'm not gonna even get them out too much. I don't wanna get all freaky on me, but hopefully, and forgive my uh, habitat as they have um, destroyed some of their moss that I put up spent hours you know decorating their habitats and they just take minutes to destroy it <laughs> it's okay we'll get the hang of it this guy knocked down all the moss off his walls but it's okay um okay so You guys know what this is? This is your Southern white lip python with a good temperament. I mean, when do you ever see also a, you know, six to seven foot snake like this of this species? You guys know, anybody that keeps the Alberts knows that these guys can be really nippy, feisty. Now, they have a massive head. Just the iridescence on it is just insane. The purple, the white lips, just, I love it, man. Just oh, a snake to admire. So, yeah, my southern white lip. This is a male. He's also about seven foot. And he's chill, man. He's super chill. He's not like one of those aggressive, just constant biting, you know, the Alberts. But... I want to get you guys to see, because I'm seeing it right here. The iridescence on this animal. As you guys see, all the moss came off. <laughs> it's some over there in the corner. I got to clean it and fix it. So forgive me. But I mean, look at the, it's not really catching it on film. I know it's not, but just wow, man. What a snake. What a snake. I'll put that back in there because I'm going to, get that back up there later but yeah man I've got tons of snakes to show you guys this firecracker down here this firecracker over here I mean this guy will immediately bite this is my Australian olive <laughs> just different 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 language of a snake, you know? Ready to get you. That's that Australia, right? And then we got our cutie patootie down there. Her cage is perfectly fine. She just doesn't move much. Uh, yeah, man. So, Australian snakes, Malaysian snakes, just Colombian snakes. Blah. Out of my snake room. I'm thankful for my snakes, long story short. Um, you guys know I love snakes. Um, <laughs> this guy is funny. He escapes his habitat and then goes back home. And then he comes up here to bask. What's up, kid? You're basking on the wrong part. You're supposed to be basking there. Not up there, loco. Okay, last but not least for this portion, this portion of our house. Um, let me see if I can get it right. Okay, stay there. This is my Papawan olive python. Had the snake for some years, okay? Um, she's every bit of like 12 foot. She is massive. She is a puppy outside her habitat. Sometimes she can be a bit nippy inside, but 
Look at this snake, guys. Big, big, big snake. So yeah, that's my baby. She's thick. She's thicker than cheese grits. She's thicker than extra chunky peanut butter mixed with oatmeal with whole milk. She is thick, okay? If you were to go down to Louisiana and see a swamp possum with the mumps, that's how thick she is, okay? It's already thicker than bulletproof glass. It's already thicker than bifocals. One of my other babies. My uh, northern pine snake. He could be a bit hissy sometimes, but he's a big bluffer. Look at him. He's a bluffer. All that hissing and huffing and puffing. Just, if you know your snakes, you know some are going to bite. Some are that Australian olive, whack! Immediately biting you without even a hesitation. This guy can huff and puff and hiss all day. He ain't gonna bite a fly. So, thankful for my snakes, man. Just thankful for you guys. Thankful for y'all tuning in to all this madness, all this craziness. You guys seen monitors, you guys seen iguanas, you guys seen snakes, you guys seen dogs kangaroos what else you want to see i just got a whole bunch of stuff that y'all want to see but just like it's a lot okay but before i end the video we're gonna go in my room and i'm gonna show you guys a little bit more cool stuff that i'm thankful for be right back all right got a treat for y'all Don't know where he is, but I will find him. Jack! Jack! Where are you, buddy? Ah, spider webs. Jack! Where are you, Jack? Hey, look who it is. What's up, pal? Come here. Get over here. What's up? Come on, Jack. Don't be camera shy. Come on, pal. Come on. What's up? What's up? Don't be shy. What's up with you, bud? Hello. Hello. He's like, you smell like dingo. You smell like dingo, boy. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. I smell like a dog. I smell like a traitor. This is uh, Jack. You know, he's, he free roams. Um, I do lock him up sometimes in his little habitat over there, but for the main part, he has a whole acre to roam around and have fun jump around be a kangaroo you know let's see come on jack come on i don't know if he's gonna chase me oh he's chasing <laughs> i love when he chases me okay i want to prop the camera up so you guys can see me and jack have a little bit of playtime together all right let's see if i can set this up all right that's there jack Come on, Jack. Come on, Jack. Yeah, Jack, Jack. Yeah, Jack, Jack. Yeah, Jack, Jack. Come on. What's up, girl? I like when he scratches himself like that. You want, Jack, Jack? He's the cutest thing, man. I just like, what is life, man? Plenty to be thankful for, you know what I'm saying? Just one after the other, after the other, after the other of just pure thankfulness.
So you see on him also, I'm not sure if you guys can see that far, but he licks himself. That's how they cool down. Um, they dig a little layer lower than the ground is because it's hot, first layer. And it'll be a few degrees warmer once they dig. So once they dig, they lick their membranes, I mean, their veins, and that's their cooling points. So they live in Australia, they're from Australia. So they get hot, okay? Hot. What's up, Jack Jack? What is life?